OMG. This is the most unexpected unboxing. Literally, for those of you that saw my recent Chanel shopping vlog video where we went to go look, you know, just window shopping, browsing around while I was literally in my workout clothes. I ended up making a few trips to Chanel to look at the 22A Metier Dior collection. And what's funny is that I have only looked at this collection on the website. Like until today, I had not watched a single Metier Dior YouTube video, like absolutely nothing. So I only knew what was on the website. And so I just wanted to go into the stores to take a peek and there were so many amazing bags. I seriously couldn't believe it. And I ended up walking away with one. Again, 100% unplanned. I I'm just, ooh, I'm all like over the place, but let's get into the unboxing. And I think you all are gonna be so excited to see this bag because it is definitely one of my dream bags. Here is the receipt and we will get into the price later on. And here is the box, ah! Okay, one second. Okay, so as you all can see, this is actually not a classic flap, which is probably really surprising to you all because I have had classic flap fever for the longest time, but I am so excited to share with you all my brand new cocoa handle. Okay, wait. Before we get into it, can we just please talk about this color? I mean, this emerald green has me shooketh. I am obsessed with it. I just, I seriously cannot get over it. This is such a beautiful bag. So this is, you know, what some people call a mini or what some people call a small size of the cocoa handle. Um, it's the second smallest of the four sizes. So. Um, this is the mini size. It's in this beautiful emerald green caviar leather and I don't know how it's showing up on camera But the hardware is actually champagne hardware and what's so funny about this is when I was talking to the sales associate I was like I kind of like that. It's got silver hardware, you know I've got a couple like green bags. I've got one that's got like the 24 karat gold hardware So it wouldn't be bad for me to get one with silver and she was like girl. This is champagne. So I don't know why, but I've talked about this in like past videos. I'll link a video talking about it. I truthfully feel like like not all champagnes are created. Ooh, not all champagnes are created equal. Champagne is obviously Chanel's like light gold hardware, and um, some look more silver, some look more gold, and I think this looks silver honestly. But ooh, did I just get lip gloss on my brand new bag? Oh my god. Ah. Okay. But you all who have been following on this channel know that I have been wanting a cocoa handle for so long. And what's funny is I bought so many classic flaps in the past year, but I've always been looking for and trying to get a cocoa handle, but there are never any cocoa handles in stock in any of the boutiques. I remember I was able to try on one, one time in this size, and it was like a pink and orange, like houndstooth type of like tweedy material. And that is just not something that I am gonna wear like at all. So, but that was when I learned what size I really like. One other time I got to try on an extra mini in like a dark, like a black color and it had like a crystal handle. The reason I didn't like the extra mini was actually two reasons. One, the strap is extremely long and I'm pretty short, five foot three and I've got like no torso. So um, the bag was just like hanging down like way farther past like my legs than it should be. So um, I realized that it was too long for me. And also in order to fit a phone in there, you can fit, like I have an iPhone 12 Pro, you can fit that in there, but it's just right. Like you have to put it at a diagonal and like it takes up most of the bag. So I realized that that wasn't the right size. And so I've been wanting this size forever. I've been looking like you should see my favorites list on like Fashion File and The Real Real. Like there are so many cocoa handles and I've always wanted one in like blue or gray or green. Those are like some of my favorite colors. I decided I didn't want one in black because black can be quite a serious color. And you know, I've got a couple black bags. I've got a black classic flap. And I feel like because this bag does have a top handle, the nature of it already is a little bit more mature. It's a little bit more prim and proper. And so I felt as though like getting it in something other than black would like make it a little bit more fun. So 
I'm so excited about this green. Y'all, like members of the family, you all know how much I love green. It's like clearly the only color that I have in my apartment other than white and black. And I definitely had to get this in caviar leather because y'all know I am rough on the merchandise. So I am very excited about this. Oh, I'm, just, I'm seriously obsessed with this color. Here, let me take the, um, the tissue paper off so you all can see the full strap. Give me one second. So here it is with the full strap. And another reason I really like this size of cocoa handle is that this strap is a little bit shorter. And I think for a lot of folks, it's probably too short to crossbody, especially if you've got like a little bit of a chest or you've got some curves, like this is, this would end up being like right under your chest. However, again, cause I have no chest and I'm very short, this actually crossbody is at a really good length for me. It is on the shorter side, don't get me wrong, but definitely like still passable, still doable. Um, and I really like it because a lot of times if I can crossbody something, I can't wear it just shoulder strap, it's too long or vice versa. And that is not the case with this bag. I can wear it either way and I think it looks really good. So I am very excited to have this bag in my collection. I just, I mean, I cannot get over this color green. Like look at how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh, I just think it's absolutely stunning. Here, let me open it up and I will show you the inside. Here is what the inside of the bag looks like. It's got two compartments here and then a back pocket there. And then you can also see that there is my little chip there. So it is legitimate, or it's not a chip, I'm sorry, it's a plate. And what's funny was that I was talking to the sales associate who's not my normal sales associate. And um, she was just saying like, by the way, did you know our bags now come with this? And I was like, oh yeah, with the chip. And she was like, oh, it's, it's like a plate. And I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, there's no like RFID. There's no like scanning technology. It is literally just a metal plate that says the serial number of the bag. So I think that's interesting because I think a lot of people on YouTube were saying they're like chips and they're not chips. They are literally just metal plates with the number etched on it. So for what it's worth. But I just, I'm so happy to finally have this bag in my collection. I won't lie, I am a little bit nervous about, you know, any type of like wear and tear on this bag, especially because cocoa handles and the caviar ones, they are known for getting like a fair bit of corner wear down on the bottom. So I am nervous about that, especially because like, obviously y'all know Chanel has been having some quality issues lately. So I am, I am nervous about that, but like, as soon as I saw this color, I was like, I wanted a bag in a Chanel bag specifically in this color for so long. Been looking for cocoa handles and classic flaps in this color. And I just felt like, oh, it was fake. It was meant to be. So it was really awesome. Now, price details. So this bag, so descriptively named flat bag with handle in Vo slash vert was a total of $5,000, which is a pretty hefty price tag for a handbag. But I will say relative to a classic flap now and like price positioning is everything, it's a bargain. So I'm not mad about the price, but the total with tax was $5,431.25. I just wanna say that I was not working with my regular sales associate. Um, she was actually not working that day. I think she's actually out of town. So I worked with someone that I'd never worked with before. And y'all, I was literally in like a workout set of clothes, like a sports bra, leggings and like a little sweater with a stain on it like tied around me and i couldn't have had better service this woman like i won't say her name but she seriously was so kind so friendly didn't pressure me at all but like was literally willing to show me everything like she was amazing this was at the standalone chanel boutique I did also go to the Neiman Marcus Boutique. They were equally as amazing. I also went to someone I hadn't ever worked with before. She was so nice. They were so accommodating. And so I just want to say that like, for those of you that think like you have to look really nice whenever you go into a luxury store in order to be served, I just got to say, I really have never found that to be true. Like I um, work out a lot. I know y'all can't tell because I've, I've still got like my Rona 15, but <laughs> Like I work out a lot, so I'm often in workout clothes. I will literally go shopping after my workout, like totally drenched, hair looking a mess, no makeup on. 
and I've always gotten really good service. Like no one's ever turned up their nose at me because I was like not dressed beautifully. Even when I do like get dressed to go shopping, I don't dress fancy. You all have seen like I'll wear like jeans and like a top, like nothing, nothing to like out there, nothing to signify. I'm a rich lady also cause I'm not, but I just think like there's always a lot of talk about like how you need to look the part in order to be served in a luxury store. And honestly, I just don't think that's true. Also, um, I just wanted to share something that I thought was really interesting when I was in there. So I was talking to the new SA about like the new like quota policy and like only the only bags you can buy like twice a year, blah, blah, blah. And it was really interesting because she said something that I thought was a really good point. She was like, you know, this is really like in an effort for us to help make our bags more available to a lot of people. Cause like a lot of times when a collection drops, it's 100% sold out. A lot of people don't get the bags. And I was like, actually, that's a really good point because like, listen, I haven't watched like a bunch of YouTube videos on the 22A Mentia Diot collection, but I, I would venture to think that this is a really pretty color and a lot of people would like it. And I was just genuinely surprised that the bag was actually available in the store, like, and it wasn't sold out. So I was like, actually, that kind of makes sense. Like it, it does feel like the policy is working if that's what it was originally intended to do. I do still think that there's a level of exclusivity that they are trying to obtain. I do think they're trying to like take some notes out of Hermes's book because one thing that the essay did say to me, and I didn't question it, I didn't push back because she'd been so nice, so lovely, but I wanted to be like, what are you saying? She then started talking about the classic bags and how the artisans, you know, spend 10 to 20 hours creating each one. And I was like, this sounds really familiar. Like this sounds like something that you know, we all hear from Hermes, you know, it takes 40 hours to make a Birkin or a Kelly. So like, I was like, okay, you can tell me your little arson story. I don't know how true that is because I have friends who worked in product development and they've told me that majority of Chanel bags are machine made, although finished by like a person. Like maybe there are certain design components that a person will do, or like they'll sew in the lining or like the last like few pieces. So but I think majority of Chanel bags are machine made. Granted, I could be wrong. This was from years ago, like what a friend told me, but I don't know. Does seem like Chanel is taking a page out of Hermes's book, but I don't care because I have this beautiful bag in my possession now. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited. I hope it wears well. I hope that there aren't like any major quality issues with it, but if there are, I will let this little baby go. You know, I've got, I've got no qualms about that, but I really, I hope I don't have to because I just love this bag. So thank you all so much for unboxing this bag with me today. And thank you for those of you that also came shopping with me on my vlog where I had a big breakfast belly and I was in my workout clothes. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that vlog too. So if you enjoyed this unboxing, I would really appreciate if you could just give this video a little like, just give a little thumbs up down in the corner below. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? you need to subscribe to my channel. So that way you can get all my latest content about all things shopping, including Chanel, delivered straight to you. Thank you again for watching. My name is Lily and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye everyone.